Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lovely Kumari and today we will continue in Fosis Salesforce interview question part 2. So let's start it. So the first question was uh, trigger run in the synchronous mode or asynchronous mode? And if uh, the trigger run in the synchronous mode, so how is it possible? And if not, if trigger runs in the asynchronous mode, then how can we achieve it? So the next question was, uh, is it possible to call a batch apex from another batch apex? Uh, so the next question was, uh, if we want a user details, then how to get user details in Salesforce org? Let's say, um, if I want another user details, so how can we fetch uh, another user details in the Salesforce org? So the next question is how we can schedule a batch apex and uh, is the way same as we schedule the apex class so uh, the question is like uh, we are scheduling an apex class so is the same way we are scheduling the batch apex as well so the next question is uh, can we do call out from the trigger uh, so the, the the question is like uh, is it possible to do call out uh, from the trigger and uh, if yes then how can we do call out like uh, we can we uh, do call out from the synchronous mode or as in the asynchronous mode uh, so the next question is uh, so in the trigger dot new and in the trigger dot old concept so uh, the trigger dot new uh, returns what or uh, what does the trigger dot old return so we have to uh, like understand the uh, trigger concept basic concept actually and uh, the next question is like uh, a life a life cycle hook of lwc like uh, like what is the life cycle hook of the uh, lightning web component and uh, and the next question is uh, how we can communicate two component in the lwc so like in there are so many ways we can communicate from the one component to the another component. So what are the ways uh, we can communicate uh, between two components? And uh, so the next question was, uh, there are so many ways we can share our record. And uh, like OWT is the most restrictive and we are open up with the role hierarchy, then manual sharing, then uh, sharing roles. So uh, these are the admin parts, but the interviewer asked me to do not, uh, we don't want to share uh, by the uh, admin purpose. We only want to share the uh, records from the code level. So uh, he told me, so what, uh, like how we can share the records for the code and uh, uh, what is Apex saving and uh, uh, what are the uh, methods are available in the Apex sharing as well? So he told me to write the code. Uh, so how can we share that code? Uh, share the uh, records to the another users. So apart from that, uh, they give me one scenario, uh, trigger scenario questions as well. Uh, so the question was, uh, there is one account object, and uh, the on the account object there is one field called status. And in that status field, these two uh, values are there. So first one is active and the second one is not active. So the question was, uh, write a trigger to validate the following scenario. And the scenario is like, uh, if the user is changing account status value from the active to not active, then do not allow user to change the value to not active. In case there is any opportunity associated with that account so i wrote that uh, code as well so if you want uh, the answer for this question do let me know in the comment section and uh, so if you want a part three infosys salesforce interview questions as well so do let me know in the comment section and uh, if you like uh, this video do like share and subscribe my youtube channel as well and uh, so thanks for watching my videos. Jai Hind. Bye-bye.